What's going on, YouTube? My name is Jeans, back with some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe content. Before this video even starts, scroll down a little bit, smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25 as I stream four plus days every single week. Link will be in the description below. So, guys, in the last video, we actually 100% at the Mushroom Cup, getting first place in all the races. So, in this video, we're actually moving on to the Fire Flower Cup in 200cc, once again, using Yoshi. Gotta be green, Yoshi, first of all. In the bitty buggy with the slick wheels and the MKTV parafoil. So let's get going. We got the Fire Flower Cup right here. Consists of Mario Circuit, Toad's Harbor, Twisted Mansion, and Shy Guy Falls. So let's hop into this and get first place in all of the races. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first race on Mario Circuit for the Flower Cup. It's actually shaped in like a figure eight, which is pretty cool. I kind of like it a lot. It was, it was kind of like one of those staple courses that everyone was like... It was just like, oh, that's Mario Kart 8 course. <laughs> we're going to get Groover in here, but... Wow, what a start. What a start for this video. Right off the first bat, we burn out. What is it called? You blow up. I don't even know what it's called. Are we drifting? Getting cooking here. What you fools want? Don't you dare hit me, Shell. Bruh. Bruh. They're picking the Yosh Bosh with the shells today. What you want? What you want? I'm coming up. I need some coins, though. That's first lap. That's what we got to focus on. Who wants it? Who wants a shell? Oh, he just got built with the green shell. I think you want that. What happened to my red shell? I don't even know. We're going to drift and try to get these coins right here. We got triple banana defense here. I'm going to read on past him. Look at that. Triple banana spinning around. Let's get it. Let's grab this next box. This would be stellar defense if we can pull a sound horn here. I hate this game. <laughs> but, yo, this game absolutely stepped it up with Mario Kart courses. Like, they are phenomenal in this game. What you want, Red Shell? I'll smack you. Get out of my face. We got this protection with the bananas. But like I was saying, Mario Kart 8 definitely stepped it up with the courses. Like, every course, I don't think there's a bad course in here. Like, they just changed everything and everything looks so much better. And I, I feel like all the courses are just dandy. They're just great. Well, some are definitely superior than others, but you know, you guys know what I'm saying. Oh, dude, what's this for one? I got a banana. I'm going to fishtail him. Got him. Got him. Yo, I told you guys I was going to fishtail him. You just cut him off in the front, and then you slip your back end right onto him, and he's done. You get the quick fishtail. You say, night, night. Get out of here. Well, we groove along here, looking to get first place in our first race. Hopefully, we can get it. Drift this corner. We're going to hit this little glide thing. Yay. Look at us. Let's go, baby. First place. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Nice way to start off this video with a solid first place right there. Let's hop into our next race, race, which is actually one of my favorite courses in this game. Like I was saying, there are more superior racetracks than others, and this is one of them. Let's go, let's go. Come on, load up, load up. Here it is, guys. We got Toad's Harbor right here. And look at that. You got like a downhill slope. You got the like the... The fairies, what are they called? The little trains? I don't even know what they're called, but they look so cool. We are right on the water because it is a harbor. We got, like, the fake Statue of Liberty. It's like a replica of it. What is it, Rosalina or Peach holding up a star or something? It's so cool. But we're going to hit this corner right here. Yeah. We'll go grab ourselves this box. Yeah, this is definitely, I think, I'm trying to think of my top three courses in here. I don't know. This one has two really good courses. This cup has two re really good courses. We got this one, Toad's Harbor, and the last one, which is Shy Guys Falls, which is a phenomenal course. We're going to drop this coin. Grab the bat and take this quick route. If you can actually, if you're good at drifting, you could drift in between here and get a really, like, it's a shorter path, a lot shorter than uh, other things. But come on, give me a defensive item. Yeah, a coin. Real defensive, isn't it? <laughs> Helps me out none. But well, we, we got a decent lead right now. That Koopa Trooper just got hit, so we're going to make our lead a little bit longer. I would like to hop that little, uh, the water area right there, show it to you guys real quick. I'll do it next lap. Well, I'll go for it next lap, but we're going to hit this double box right here. Get a defensive item. Show me a sound horn. A bomb, dude. I actually like bombs, but we got nobody even near us in sight. But we're going to drift this corner again. Gain some speed. Look at us. We cooking, baby. Watch how high we hop. Yay. Look how far we threw that bomb. I just wanted to throw it for distance. Because if you're hopping off things like, like a ramp like that and you do a front flip throw, you throw like triple as far. We're going to try to hop this ramp right here. Yay. We got it. We got it. Sometimes if you're not going fast enough, you will miss out. But you usually hit that wall just like that. So you got to remember to brake turn all that. But that was worth it. We had a big enough lead. We're going to drop both of our bananas and look for a sound horn here. Come on. Nope. We got a banana and a coin. But it's all right. We're going to drift this corner once again. Look at this tight drifting. You just got to stay in between this path. Woo! 
Our drifts are on point. Watch how far we throw this banana. Yay! Oh, we didn't do the front flip. I tried. I tried. I tried, people. <laughs> We're gonna throw this off the banner. Yay! That's what I like to do. I like to throw them off the banner because you can snipe people behind you like that. Or if it's a too short of a throw. Like, if it's too long of a throw, you can bank it off that and drop it in front if someone's in front of you. So, you gotta use your things to your advantage. Like, I actually figured that one out. So, it's, like, one of the cooler things you can do in this game. Like, there's a banana snipe, then there's an off-the-banner banana snipe. But, let's go. We got our second first place. Now, we're heading on to the third race, which is Twisted Mansion. And this course is actually based off of Luigi's Mansion, which is so cool. I believe there's a statue of Luigi up front. There might not be. I'm not, I'm not too positive. But... October 31st, you guys better be here. Luigi's Mansion 3, 100% playthrough coming at you guys. Be here or be square. You guys know the deal. You guys know the deal. Yo! What was that, Morton? You guys see that? Morton's a hunk of junk. What's his problem? I'm gonna light him up. You gotta hit me, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I was gonna bang it off the wall and smoke myself. Get out of here, Morton. What you want, fool? Get out of here, boy. That's what you get. Bumping me in the beginning. I'll rip you up with a shell any day of the week. But this course actually has... A few tight turns, which is uh, a little annoying, but it's not too bad. Like right here, this is the section that I'm talking about. We got to actually do a quick break turn right here or you will smash into the wall easily. Same thing with this spot right here. And I think I was wrong about the Luigi statue. I, I, for some reason, I thought there was. But this place actually has a sick shortcut. If you have a mushroom, you can actually drift right in between this area to the left here, right in between this bookshelf so if you guys saw it. It's actually a very good shortcut, but we do not have a mushroom. It's like a dirt patch kind of. Let's keep grooving along here. Oh! Oh! Big setup. Big setup. Actually got one of the best defensive setups. We got a defensive item and then a sound horn in the second slot. So now we can block a red shell if it comes without using our sound horn. Or if a blue shell comes, we can just drop the shell real quick. Oh! We just drop the shell real quick and then send the sound horn to block the blue shell. But we are stacked, guys. We are stacked up right now. We're just going to hold this item down with the left trigger. Yeeting on over here doing a little kick flip. Whatever Yoshi's doing. Getting a little extra boost. We chill me and you're gonna drop our items. Look at this, see? I would normally have to use the sound horn to block it, but we got this green shell and now we got the sound horn right here. So we didn't have to waste the sound horn with the uh, defending off the red shell, which is nice. We grab this extra box right here. Last rat lap right here. Another dri uh, break turn. Oh no. Here comes the blue shell. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Oh my god, Morton's coming up on me too. Hit that. No! Get first! Get it! Yes, we got first. Oh, my God. We almost blew that one. That would have been terrible. But it was perfect that we got that green shell. Then the sound horn. That was just a perfect example of it. We could block the red shell with the green shell instead of wasting our sound horn and then have that sound horn for later. And it worked out perfectly. That's why I say it's always the best defensive setup for first place. Just like that. Unless you can get a triple banana rotating around you. But I never got a triple banana first and then the sound horn. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. But we are hopping into the last match. Last race, actually, for the Flower Cup right here. Shy Guy Falls, and this is one of the most beautiful courses in the game, considering you're going up waterfalls and down them and everything. There's rainbows and all that. You got all these Shy Guys working on the side. It is just lovely, but we got to win this last race in order to 100% the Flower Cup here. I think we're going to blow up. No, that was actually good. I started a little early, but I stopped real quick, and then it kind of it kind of made up for that. But we got break turn here because it's very, very sharp for 200cc. Yay! But here we go, guys. We're about to go up a waterfall right here. Yee! Look at this. We got boost panels chilling here. Let's hit them all up. Do a little drift. Grab ourselves these coins. Another break turn. We got some sharp turns in this one here, too. But actually, it's, it's kind of smart to get on the ground early here. Because if not, you're going to um, have like a real tight turn and probably hit the wall. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get on the ground early. There. Yee! Got another tight turn here. So break turning is crucial in this part of the game. So let's go, let's go. We need one more win here. I'm going to be hyped if we get it. We got a red shell coming at us. We're going to block it real quick. And now we're defenseless. We need another box here. Eat that. Another break turn. A little yeet ski front flip. <laughs> Drop that coin. Get a double box. Come on, sound horn. Show me the sound horn. I'll take a banana. That's not bad, but we're going to get on the ground early. I usually like to take this high path. There's a high path right up there. It's a little shortcut. It's faster, but for 150cc, you kind of have to do a bunch of break turns, so it's really not that fast. Oh, dang, dude, that link's a hunk of junk. Break turn. This is a close one, actually. Can I get that link out of my way? Did we get him? Nope, we did not. But we're going to hold on to this coin. Grab this box. Then send this coin. Oh, no. No. Oh, actually, it worked out perfectly. We got a blue shell. Bruh. Blue shell coming. Which is better for us. We're going to turn here and try to get this first place now. Come on, get up there. Come on. 
We gotta get this win here. Give me this double box. Do a drift turn. Give me something. Give me something. Double red shell. Beautiful. Hit him. Hit him now. Yes. Drop him down into the water. We got one for defense now. Come on. Just stay. Stay focused here. We got this. We're not even gonna do... We're not even gonna do a trick and hit the wall. And there we go. Let's get it. First place in all the races for the Flower Cup. Woo! It's getting a little scared there, guys. I was getting a little scared there. They had the lead in the last lap. Luckily, we got the double red shell. Smoked that link in the water. And then just took it easy from there. But let's view the results and go to the trophy presentation for me. Let's get it, guys. Hype. Give me my trophy. It's got my name on it. It says, Jeans. And then, with Yoshi and the Bitty Buggy. <laughs> Woo! Show me my highlights. Show me me sniping that link into the water. Let's go. Look at me go. Oh, why is show me get whooped on? <laughs> Look at me mushrooming, doing a little front flip action. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Inked up Yoshi. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that. All first places, all shiny, beautiful gold. Let's get it. Me jumping over to Goompas for the victory. Look at Yoshi, dude. Yoshi's the bomb. Now he's dancing. He's like, Woo! <laughs> That's a little celebratory dance. But here we go, guys. We obtained the trophy. Look at that. Three stars on the Flower Cup. Let's get it, guys. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Star Cup. So let me know in the comment section down below what characters and card combinations you'd like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.